For today's sponsor we have GVG Mall, where you can acquire your Windows 10 Home serial key for only $16 and using my SKEG discount code will get you 20% off, making it only $11. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and after getting it, you simply need to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, I'm Shit Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and once again, welcome to my channel. A few moments later. So yeah, I actually had to change place because it's, it is starting to rain, so yeah. Anyway, today's video is once again a driver review video. This time the Adrenaline 21.5.1. As I say in all my videos and once again, 21 is the year 2021, 5 is the month May and 1 is the revision in that same month, so the first revision of May. This driver is an optional one um, and we have support for Resident Evil Village with up to 13% increased performance at 4K max settings with uh, the RX 6800 XT, so I think that the 6800 may have some improvements and the other 6000 series cards, who knows. And we also have the support for Metro Exodus PC Enhanced Edition, which is nice. As for the fixed issues, we also have some really nice fixed issues that I'm actually reading on my mother's tablet. Now, with a new aspect, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> like, Disco Elysium may experience texture fl flickering and so on, so on, so on, so we have those fixes, performance metrics, lower than expected performance may be experienced at 4K resolutions with the RX 6000 series, so in Payday 2, of course, missions, in some Payday 2 missions, uh, Moonlight and Blade, Green Corruption may be observed in some video previews on Radeon Software Media page or thumbnails, but um, the thing that annoys me the most is that the known issues are actually uh, bigger than the fixed ones. So we have more known issues that weren't fixed than actually the fixed issues uh, in this driver version, which annoys me a bit. And among them is one of the issues, one of the oldest issues that I've seen in almost any driver, uh, in any driver version that just can't seem to be fixed, and it is enhanced sync may cause black screen to occur when enabled on some games and system configurations. Any users who may be experiencing issues when enhanced sync enabled should disable it as a temporary workaround. So basically, the, the enhanced sync causing black screens is a thing that has been happening for months, if not years, and AMD seems to not be able to fix this. I personally, I can use enhanced sync on my systems, and I have no black screens, at least in the games I tested, but many people have been having these issues of black screens, uh, and AMD just seems to not be fixing them. So, this is not that great. We also have the known issue of free sync May, um, well, FreeSync having the possibility of being locked uh, to lower frame rates and we also have things like Cyberpunk 2077 may experience shadow corruption on the Radeon RX 6000 series graphics cards when ray tracing is enabled. So there are lots of things to fix uh, in the next drivers because this one has a really big known issues list. So a, a really big known issues list. I I'm kind of distracted because my cat is passing around. Hoka, Nika. Anyway, as for my experience with these drivers, my experience uh, is quite fine, at least in the first uh, gaming hour, so uh, the video seems to be working fine, so no black screens on video, no stuttering on video, something that happened in previous drivers, some of previous drivers, no stuttering in games, uh, no black screens, no green screens, no blue screens, no red screens. Everything is working fine in terms of normal usage, per se. Um, one thing is that in, in the RX 6000 series, mostly in my RX 6800, I actually have lower performance. So I have lower performance on the RX 6800. Not on the 5700 XT, so the 5700 XT is more or less the same, but in both games I tested with the 6800, uh, which are PUBG and Rainbow Six Siege, what happens is that the 21.5.1 actually give me quite lower FPS than the 21.4.1. I mean, why? And obviously I did a clean install, 
GPU drivers and chipset drivers and still I tested several times and still I have lower FPS in the 21.5.1, God knows why. So if you have a 6800, 17, uh, 6700 XT and so on, keep um, the 21.4.1 if the AMD SAM is working for you. If not, go for the 21.3.1 because those drivers, the 21.3.1 works, uh, work in most PCs like, like this wonderfully <laughs> and that's my opinion so basically rx 6000 series keep with the 21.4.1 if you want the features if sam is not working in your pc go back to 21.3.1 and you're good to go and well guys that's all for today's video don't forget hit like subscribe and share this video because that really helps a lot thanks a lot for watching and don't forget leave in the comment section your experience with these drivers because the purpose of these videos is to actually help the community, help us all with problems that you may have and I don't, and problems that I may have and you don't, so we may help each other uh, troubleshooting. This is actually the, um, the purpose of this kind of videos, okay? Well, that's all once again, so let's go to the comparisons and then to the next video. <laughs> See you in the next one, guys. We? Long time. Didn't know you were around. Got back from Atlanta a few weeks ago. See you got a good down-home welcome. How was it back east? Tell you later. Got something on my plate. How about you fill me in now? We'll give you a ride. Marcus, let's go. So where to? The Glen. Drop me off at Embers. Front door? Take the ramp back of the bar. Show you where to stop. 